Hey gamers, Stone Monk here again, the second day of uh, sneak peeks into the Legion of Nagash release coming this weekend for, on pre-order. Uh, up on the community website, you've probably read it. Uh, I just wanted to talk about what I thought was uh, exciting about this second reveal. Um, first of all, this one, uh, this release talks about the Legion of Sacrament, led by Archon the Black. Um, I really like this character. I think uh, it's, while... You know, Neferata and Manfred kind of had their have their own agendas. Um, you know, they're vampires; so they're a little skinny, it seems like. But uh, Arkan genuinely wants to serve his master and wants to see his will done. Um, and we saw that in the end times. We we've, we've seen that now. Um, he's loyal, and that's just a, a really cool aspect of of this character. Um, it doesn't seem like all. Uh, you know, you get to the chaos um, gods, etc. They have the main underlings who also aren't always loyal. Um, so there's just a real, I think Archon really embodies uh, kind of the idea. Of he's, he's, his free will embodies, you know, the, the, the unnatural way in which um, the Gash and his followers like control zombies and, and skeletons, etc. So this is really cool. Archon's uh, main kind of focus is on magic. Um, and so there's some, some really cool things that we learn in this article. One, there's two lords of magic in the in uh, the legions of Nagash. One is uh, death uh, mages, and one is uh, vampire, uh, the, the lore of vampires. Um, so so we got two of them. That's cool. They're probably going to have six spells in them or something to that effect. Um, that's just a guess. Um, and you know, you'll get to pick and choose what any wizards in your army can pick from those, but probably depending on if they've got the keyword vampire or the keyword um, uh, death mage. And then um, what it says is that uh, any uh, lords, death lords, can choose from either. Um, so that's cool. Gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, one of the things that comes up in the uh, article is that uh, there is the ability, if you use one of these lords of the dead and you um, are casting, and you get a mine up on the roll on two d six unmodified. Then um, and that was actually something that looks like it it uh, changed. Let's see. I'm looking at this now. I looked at it earlier, and I thought it said unmodified, but I think currently it's saying um, uh, it's not modified. So on a nine up, uh, you get to resolve the effect twice. So you get to. Uh, if it's one of these lores, uh, I was talking to some people, I don't think that Mystic Shield or Arcane Bolt is going to benefit from this, but if you have some other spell, um, then uh, the, and, and it's not a spell that's on somebody's War Scroll, um, like Curse of Years or anything like that, uh, or Hand of Dust. In this case, it's just things that are going to be in these lores. On a 9-up, you get to do it twice. Um, so if you have a spell that shoots, you know, does D3 damage against a... Uh, um, uh, a, a model or a unit. There's a spell they talked about a little bit later where you draw a line 18 inches away or so, or 12 inches away, and any units that that crosses over on a 4-up take D6. So you could do that a couple of times and build out a whole lot of, of mortal wounds. So that's kind of cool, just a, a different way to have, um, I guess, more magic without, um, you know, and there's, there's a couple of ways in this army, and specifically in the Legions of Sacrament, to get more magic on the table. Um, so obviously, um, Nagash has a three-up, um, the Mortis Engine, you got the Corpse Cart uh, to help out. Um, and so there's some cool stuff there to, to kind of help help with uh, making that happen more often. So Nagash, with his three-up, uh, you're gonna, and with the Corpse Cart and Mortis Engine, I mean, that's uh, five up. So that means on a, on a four or better, on two dice, uh, you're doubling the effect of any spells you cast, uh, so that's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big. Um, they go through a couple of things. Uh, this one, Soul Harvest, lets you uh, heal wounds back. So the the heroes that all have death invocation, which lets them bring wounds back or bring models back for kind of underling units. Um, but there's nothing to, to do that healing back. Uh, that deathless invocation does not help heroes. Um, or uh, Blood Knights, or um, Morgaths, uh, etc. So, but here, a hero could use this spell, and they'd be able to gain wounds back, uh, potentially up to three wounds per spell. Now again, if they're using that lower, and they get a three up, or a nine up, uh, they could 
do that multiple times. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's another spell here where here's the spell I was talking about where you pick it as point 12 inches away, draw a line, and everything in that path uh, on a four up takes d6 wounds. Now, specifically, if you take the Legion of Sacrament, there's some cool things. There's um, the ability to um, kind of gather a coven of necromancers, which is cool. And they get plus one to the casting roll. So, again, you're adding to, um, you know, Arkhan has probably a bonus, and then he's got this. Um, so there's just kind of some, some cool ways. So Arcan is really leading kind of these groups of Mortis Engines and Necromancers and other Wizards, etc. Um, there is this uh, little thing that was interesting that is unlikely. It probably requires reserve points. Um, uh, but, for instance, if if you have a... Well, it, it may not work. It, I was... Uh, so I'll tell you what it is first. Whenever an enemy unit is destroyed, um, removing the last model, you may pick one of the grave sites if it's within six inches of that mo that last model pulled away. Roll a dice, um, and on a four up, you can pick friendly summonable unit that has been destroyed and set it up again, wholly within nine inches of the grave site. So something that's already died, you can bring it back. Um, this is uh, there's a couple other uh, kind of battalions where this has been the case. Uh, Storm vortex with the stormcast. Storm vortex. Garrison and the Heartwood Wargrove for the Sylvaneth. They're not played often in match play because uh, it's, I think it's given that, that uh, bringing those models back cost points. So if you're keeping reserves for a unit to come in, I think with grave sites, what we learned yesterday is that they can just come in in those spots. So you know this might be something for open play or um, you know, narrative play where you, you get to basically uh, increase by the size of that unit. Right, so there may be some future restrictions on that that we haven't read, etc. But uh, it's an interesting, uh, definitely interesting uh, piece. Um, one of the things that I think we're wondering about, um, because there's so many uh, new synergies with our heroes, um, we're wondering about how do we how do we negate as a death player? How do we negate kind of just getting sniped out? Um, well, here's here's a this is maybe a way that we're able to use this to snipe other heroes on us. Uh, you smash it and on a, um, each unit within three inches of the point you pick. Um, uh, it looks like you within eight inches of the bear. Uh, so if you have a hero going towards the backfield and you can get near one of their guys on a six up, that unit is slain. So it could be a, a single model. It says one model from that unit is slain. So my interpretation is, is if it was a, a hero, which is a single model unit that you could slay that unit. So you could kill the gash with this, um, etc. There's a couple of those in Hand of Dust and, and stuff where being able to kill models outright, this kind of thing death does. Um, it's high risk. It's uh, not something that you're going to get off every time. It's not reliable, but it's fun and, and narrative. And then um, when it comes to, you know, getting, uh, you know, killed from shooting for your heroes, there's the wristband of black gold this um, uh, gives you basically a four-up uh, uh, roll to negate a wound or a mortal wound on the bear, and you can roll for each one um, as you'd expect. Um, and and you know when you top this on, you know you've got uh, if you're worried about shooting specifically, you've also got your bat swarms that are going to go out and do med one to um, enemy uh, shooting units. Um, and so you just got a couple of things here to help negate some of those wounds that you would take. From sniping and whatnot. Now, if somebody can get a lot of wounds off through the shooting phase, which isn't always the case, but once in a while, uh, this is you're gonna still gonna roll a lot of dice and it's gonna get through. Um, and then uh, you know, here's again going back to um, having that coven of, of necromancers. The mortis engine, I guess, is gonna provide some shielding uh, from some attacks, so maybe you can bounce wounds to the mortis engine. Um, and then, you know, maybe you know, once it dies, it does some exploding or something like that. Um, and then uh, the Mortis Engine is a way to get wounds back on your uh, heroes and uh, units. It's possible that it's also going to get the, the Deathless Death Invocation um, spell in order to, to do such. But then all wizards from the Legion of Sacrament know an additional spell. Um, and it, I think it says here that they'll be able to cast two spells, not just have additional spells that cast two spells. That means that uh, if, let's say, let's just presume a necromancer 
um, is uh, I just can take from the, the lore of death mages, then um, then it's likely that all you know if you could take six necromancers, each takes a different spell, and they each have um, you know uh, the mystic shield and da Van Hell's dance macabre. Um, that just gives you a ton of flexibility, and, and one of the concerns is you're not going to put that many magic users down, wizards down, because you can't cast that many things. Um, so, you know, with, with uh, if you've got, uh, uh, so let's say you have three wizards, you've got Van Hells, you've got Arcane Bolt, you've got Mystic Shield, and each one takes um, a, a lore spell, then each one of them is going to get to use all of their, all their spells. They're, they're all going to be useful. Um, they're all going to be able to uh, do those things. Um, and if you keep them around the Mortis Engine, they're less likely to die. If you give them the, the black gold band, um, you know, some saves from shooting, etc. Um, and then there's still ways for uh, you to slough wounds off, probably, to um, other units, etc. So um, it looks like we've got a ton of cool stuff for Archon um, and uh, kind of just a little magic y feel. There's a ton of things here that just feel very much like the the Legion of Sacrament has a different feel than the Legion of Nagash. Um, certainly Nagash is going to be a powerhouse um, uh, mage or wizard uh, along with just a ton of, of death, undead bodies, uh, but then you know that's how he likes to do it. Everything's in his control. He decides how it works. Uh, but then you've got Archon who's got these you know groups of followers that come to him to learn magic because he's the approachable one. Um, and so he's surrounding himself with other magic users and, and bringing the full weight of that lore down um, on, um, you know, on, on their enemy. So uh, tomorrow we get to learn about uh, Neferata uh, and in the Legion of Blood and the Vampire Elite. I am really looking forward to learning about um, kind of what it's going to mean to be a Soulblight player. Um, well, not Soulblight. I mean, this is going to the scene is Legion of Blood, so this is a new way probably to play vampires along with uh, using uh, Neferata. I'm really excited to see how this is going to play out. Uh, so uh, I hope you liked this video. Um, give me a like if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want um, more things, not just um, you know quick reviews, etc. Because sometimes you know these these are fun to talk about. Leave some comments below. But if you want to learn more about some lore, if you want to follow my hobby stuff. If you want to follow um, uh, the Mortal Realms crew uh, book reviews, etc., uh, please subscribe to the channel. We've got stuff coming out uh, every week and uh, monthly. Um, and uh, like I said, leave a comment below if you have any thoughts on this this Legion. And uh, are you going to play um, Archon when this book comes out? Is that is that who you're behind as far as the Mortarks go? Uh, let me know down below. Uh, we will talk to you tomorrow uh, when we uh, find out more about the Legion of Blood.